Hello, oh, seven citizens. My name is Black, and welcome to my channel, Castle Black Gaming, a home where new players and old can find helpful guides, honest ship reviews, graphical vehicle loadouts, and sometimes my middle of the road opinion, which of course opens me up to be hit from oncoming traffic from either side. But I stick my neck out for decent players regardless, and just love to throw in older pop culture references just for giggles. Now before I get into these 10 quick new player tips which are currently working as of 319.1, I want to ask what any good channel asks and that is that you subscribe to show the old curmudgeons over at YouTube that I deserve some channel love and by liking and commenting you help make that happen. Alright so enough talking about me and my channel, let's help you new players learn something you probably did not know and if you want to share something I missed here then let me know down below and I will make another one of these videos. So pretty much everyone has taken a drink and left their helmet back in the station's inventory, hopped onto their ship, and then left. Now I've got a great guide explaining how the inventory system works, so look for that. But if you put your helmet in your backpack, it will go with you even if you forgot it. Of course you will need to have a backpack on for this to work, but you're a responsible citizen who always goes out with a backpack, right? So this one is not necessarily known by even older players as I was playing for almost two years before I learned this, and that is that each one of the L1 stations all have an armor shop, a weapon shop, and a medical facility as well as a refinery. L1 stations make for great places to call home and have your medical respawn set to, which is what I always do instead of the above stations over planets. So speaking of those L1 stations I mentioned, they all have refineries, right? So those refineries all have a sales terminal where you can buy mining items and etc. But they also have a miscellaneous filter where you can buy drinks and other supplies in bulk. The Yellow Cruise Lux drink satisfies both thirst and hunger, and being able to buy a hundred at a time and take four or five out with you in your backpack is great. Also in the stations over the planets, they have a cargo deck where you can buy these drinks at their terminal as well. Due to how the inventory system currently works, you the player can access a station or even the inventory at a mining outpost and some other outposts while standing on your ship while the ship is docked or landed in that area and sometimes you don't even have to be landed. This comes in handy if let's say you forgot your helmet or do not have an undersuit but know you left one in a local inventory on a mining outpost while checking those red loot boxes. This is also handy when playing with others and you're in a hurry needing to restock something and do not have time to play with fidgety elevators and finding shops. Alright, I have an entire video on this and it goes hand in hand with buying drinks in bulk and accessing inventories and that is to make a conscious effort to keep supplies and in local inventories everywhere you go and buy things like drinks or ammo or even undersuits and helmets. When you're at a mining outpost and you find helmets and undersuits and maybe they are not to your liking, just leave them in that station's local inventory so if you ever need a helmet or undersuit, it's out there for you. And using tip number four, you won't even have to leave your ship to equip them. Having drinks and ammo around the verse and local inventories also makes your life easy so you can swoop in, land on a landing pad, restock, and get back out there without all the fuss. Alright, so ever try to follow directions to reach a specific site that you cannot jump directly to and someone says that you need to fly to, let's say Walla in Art Corp, then to Art Corp Mining Area 45. Now once there, turn your ship to a heading of 245 and travel on that heading for 11.9 kilometers. But you're like, how would I know I've gone 11.9 kilometers? What do I do? Turn around every few kilometers to see how far I am? I mean, you could do that or you could simply hit F2 once you're at the place you last jumped to. So in this case, that mining area 45 then just set the route again. Now fly on that 245 heading and instead of turning the ship around to see where you are just hit F2 and in the upper right hand corner you will see how far away you are from the destination. Easy peasy way to track your distance from a tracked position. 
So planets and moons can be windy or blowy if you're from the UK. Now when landing, I know it might feel like leaving your engines on somehow makes sense or doesn't matter, but it does if you leave them on. I promise that you will come out and find your ship either gone or it could be up on the roof. Now you might even think you turned it off and you might have done so, but sometimes desync has other things in mind. However, if this has happened to you, spoilers, Pisces owners can still wind up not stranded or put off by this. So moving on to tip number eight. Stuff happens in the verse. Well, shit happens. But when things happen and you also happen to be on a mining outpost on a moon or planet, you have more options to resolve issues as a Pisces owner because the two Pisces variants are a ship that you can call out at the blue ground vehicle terminals, which means you have a ship with quantum capability that can be called out so you cannot be stranded. If you have a thirst emergency or other tier three medical emergency, the C8R Pisces can be called out and you can heal yourself or others. This ship can truly be a time or lifesaver, so owning one, whether with real money or buying one with in-game credits, is something I highly recommend. They're under a million credits, so it's definitely cheap to buy and own. There are times when you could really use a tracking point to get back to a specific area in the verse, like let's say if you're mining and come across a really great batch of ore, but you're full and would love to come back to that same spot to mine the remainder. Or if you're flying a snub fighter ship solo from a carrier ship and you need to get back to it and the current crappy Moby Glass is not showing you where you left that ship. Well, this takes some foresight and a single stop, but it's worth it. Take a delivery package mission, go pick up the first box, preferably an easy one at a mining outpost close by and then just keep that box on your ship or place it at the hot mining spot and voila now you can track those things and get back to them so long as you do not leave the server or cancel the mission So when starting out, especially for new players or after wipes, you might find it tough to find a decent sniper rifle, especially if you're not so great at FPS combat. Never fear, there are a few specific grow houses that also happen to have some red boxes with armor and possible sniper, rail guns, or grenade launchers in them, and also med boxes with med supplies. I will tell you the name of one, but there are others, and maybe some kind citizens will inform you down in the comments below, or you can just go exploring, which is what this game is all about and the other places are similar in theme oh and also they're not in armistice zones and while you will not be trespassing you will be open to pirates going after you but no risk no reward all right bud's glory on uterpy and the microtech system is just one such place Alrighty, and that's going to do it for this 10 quick new player tips video. I hope at least a couple of these were unknown, and if so, please show my channel some love. Also, for those who need quicker responses to questions or just want to come chat or help other players find their way around the verse, whether by meeting up in-game or just by answering questions, my Discord channel is a place to help other players grow and also a place you can vent some frustration so long as we keep it respectable and you try to keep things positive as much as you can. We're there to help and also just to chat or theorize about the game. Now anyway, remember to be kind to your fellow gamer. Don't hoard useful info, but share it and pay it forward to others and stay positive citizens.